Hello! This is a quick video I want to guide you in this app for Android phones called MC Pro 24 FPS. I find it very useful for those who want to try film in professional codecs and try to color grade log footage without buying very expensive yet outdated technology that is called quote Bruh. proper cinema camera. Or you want just to have better smartphone footage without badly over sharpened, overexposed and overprocessed image that for some old and unknown for any sensible creature reason Bruh. is used by smartphone manufacturers. I want to warn you, not every device can use full potential of this app. This is because we live in the age of crazy new world order and single government that pretends that it is not and is sponsored by corporations like BlackRock, OneGuard, Google that gives or better say not gives a damn about what is going on with our rights to own our devices. So some manufacturers lock bootloader, some restrict camera ability to use sensors, some do not grant you access to stabilization, some block use of uh, 4K or 60 FPS modes. You need to look and try by yourself. Simply find a telegram group by typing MC Pro 24 FPS or download the demo app from the Play Store or Huawei Gallery Store. It is labeled as demo and is free for download. It will show you what your phone is free or restricted to do by the manufacturer. User interface. Let's talk about what you see on the screen. I have to film this video second time because developer of the app has made firmware update and brought overhaul of everything with some new features. Control wheels on the left and right are used to control exposure and focusing. Wheel on the right has exposure controls. You can control your ISO, your shutter speed and use wheel to make precise changes. Or you can simply press this M button. It will allow the app to switch to the automatic mode and choose the right settings for the scene. So this is basic stuff. This section on the right control zoom and autofocus. A is autofocus. T stands for tap to focus. You can tap and program will focus on the tapped area. Very simple. And you can choose manual focus. You can make focus racks. So you can choose manually where to focus. And this is zoom. You can manually zoom in and out. Or just press these buttons one time, four times. So once again, this is very basic stuff. Control your exposure on the left, control your focus and zoom on the right. You can also control your exposure by using zebras or false color. By default, it won't let you choose it. You need to turn on GPU for viewfinder. To do this, press this cog wheel on the bottom and make sure that use GPU is on. It will restart and now you can use zebras and false color. You can see that if we are overexposing, we will see red zebras in the highlights or we will see white zebras in the shadow area or just use false color. When you are overexposing, you will see reds and if you are underexposing, you will see blues. On the bottom you can see this cogwheel controlling your settings of the program. This camera icon controls the video settings and this microphone icon controls audio settings. Let's press viewfinder settings. Use GPU, yes. Also I suggest to turn histogram 1 to RGB. You can see blues in the sky, in the highlight area and monitor everything by the histogram. You can see bunch of different settings. You can try everything by yourself. For example, focus picking, expo picking, safe area, grid. For example, we can use three by three grid. And 18 by nine safe area. 
When people watch your content, for example, YouTube on the full screen mode, it uses 18 by 9 and you won't lose anything important. Audio level meter and so on. You can look by yourself. Everything is straightforward. This area called show information, it will show every settings in this black box. For example, codex that we use now it's AVC, bit depth now it 8 bit, white balance, curve. I suggest to check these boxes so you can better understand what you are filming right now. Also I check divide into parts unlimited so every video I shoot is in single piece. So check this viewfinder settings by yourself. Let's press video settings and here we can choose our resolution. I will choose 25 frames per second and OK. Press apply. By the way, you can enable or disable GPU recording. It depends on your phone model. Some smartphone GPUs can add additional noise reduction, some can add stabilization and so on and so on. But for better stability and avoiding errors, I suggest not to use GPU recording, just use OFF. Now you can see that we are filming in 4K, AVC 8-bit. By the way, let's press video settings and choose HAVC codec. It's also known as H.265. Also here you can choose 8-bit or 10-bit recording. This phone is old one. For now it do not have 10-bit recording, but I can choose my bitrate. For example, I can choose 20 megabytes for small file sizes. Let's go here. I like to make constant FPS mode, so if we have some dropped frames, it will fix it without stutters. Also, I like to select color range to full. You can embed the LUT if you want. Here are some disquiz settings if you are using anamorphic lenses. And here in the hardware settings, very important part is here, noise reduction. I like to just completely turn it off because smartphone manufacturers are very aggressive with their noise reduction, sharpening and so on. I like to turn it off completely because it will give the cleanest image. You can fix everything in post. Hot pixels correction fast. It removes dead pixels from your sensor. Aberration correction. I like to completely turn it off. Sharpness off. Wignet correction completely off. Stabilization. You can use digital or optical stabilization only if your smartphone manufacturer allows third-party apps to use camera APIs, for example, for stabilization. In this particular smartphone model, I can't use 10 bit, I can't use stabilization, so it depends on your phone model and your manufacturer. Last is anti bending 50 Hz or 60 Hz to avoid bending on your flickering lights. So that's all on the camera settings. Select your resolution, your frames per second, select codex, select bit depth, bit rate, and you can tweak a bunch of different settings. Now let's press audio settings. You can choose the source if you have, for example, external microphone, Bluetooth microphone and so on. By default, it will select your system default microphones. You can choose sample rate and bit rate to get maximum audio quality. Also, you can record a lossless WAV file, but it will be separate from your video. You can control the level. By the way, if you messed with some settings, you can just double tap and it will reset everything. And here is the fun part. If we look at the bottom left corner, we can see this button. Press this and you can choose different settings for your log curve and for your color gamut. Press this tab. It shows this tab only works in manual white balance mode. Just press it and it will turn on manual white balance. You can tweak white balance in this tab. By the way, you don't have to tweak it manually every time. I will show you. If you look here, you will see a button. If you press this button, the program will automatically change white balance and set it in manual mode. So you do not have to tweak white balance every time. Just press this button and white balance will be good every time. 
So once again press this button and this is color gamut. You can select this and you will see P3, D65, DCI, Rec2020, A white gamut is RE white gamut, C cinema gamut is Canon gamut, P V gamut is Panasonic V gamut, R white gamut is red white gamut, S gamut 3 and S gamut 3 cine is from Sony, Da Vinci and so on. I like to use Panasonic V gamut. I find colors to be accurate yet artistic. If you press this square, here you can select bunch of lock profiles. You can see it can make you automatic Rec 709, Rec 709, sRGB, HLG. Also you can find Apple lock from your iPhones. M lock C is from Ari. C lock 3 is Canon lock 3. MF lock is Fuji lock from the Fujifilm cameras. MV lock is from Panasonic cameras for V lock. S lock 2 and S lock 3 is from Sony cameras. I like to use Sony S lock 3 as my gamut and V gamut from Panasonic for colors. By the way, by default you will see this dull color. This is because we are using lock profile with white gamut of colors. But we can actually look at normal colors. Press this cogwheel on the bottom and choose display LUT. I like to use Gamma 2.4 or simply Rex 709. Here we can see new button, Cube. This is for selecting our LUT. If you press one time, you can see half of the screen will be with LUT and half will be with log footage. If you press once again, it will swap and once again, it will show you LUT on the full screen. It won't be on the final image, it's just for monitoring, so you can have better understanding of what is going on on your screen. So this is basic settings for your recording. You press video settings, select resolution, frame range, codecs, select audio, check everything for audio, then press this button and select your color gamut and select your lock curve. So that's all. You can monitor your LUT and see false color for exposure controls and zebras if you like to do it this way. On the top left corner we can find the selection of lenses only if manufacturer have enabled the ability for program to use them. For example we can see 26mm back facing, front facing, this is wide angle lens. By the way you need to set everything for each camera model, frame rates, bit depths and so on. So press this lens button select camera models, make changes for all these settings for each of your camera model. When you set everything up, by the way, you can save global presets, just press this button. You can see global presets. If you tap on this plus, you can name it, for example, basic 24 FPS. Save. And each global preset will store all the changes that you make. By the way, you can export settings, press this cogwheel all the way down and here global settings. You can reset it, export it or import your settings. And by pressing this button you can turn on and off your flashlight. Let's see example of real use case. So you opened your program, you select your camera module, then you check your resolution, your frames per second, your bitrate, codecs, bit depths, check that audio levels are ok that audio quality is ok. You can monitor everything here. Audio is loud, it is not clipping. Your settings are here. Everything is ok. You check that you selected the desired lock curve, your color gamut. You press this button to get accurate white balance and that's all. You can start filming by pressing this button. Of course now it is locked because it is demo version. You can buy paid version if you want. You can try to search test programs in the Telegram group of the developer. And that's all. You can start filming. Hope this helped. Check Buy Me Coffee page for free downloads. By the way, I made free conversion LUTs for Vgamut and SLOG3. You can try to color grade a footage. I will provide some testing images so you can try and color grade on your own 
software. Links will be in the description. Or you can buy some LUTs if you want to help the channel. Train, have fun, and have a very out-of-this-world day, my Earthling friends.